Hi guys. Welcome to the hard surface modeling practices tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to model this piece of hard surface model. This tutorial is for Blender intermediate users. If you are a beginner user, please follow some basic Blender modeling tutorials. Let's get started. Start with a polygon cube and scale it along the Y axis. Add a couple of edge loops. Move the vertices like this. Delete the rear part of the model and add a mirror modifier with the clipping option enabled. Apply the mirror modifier. Delete these faces. Add two edge loops to the middle. Add the edge like this using the knife tool. Make sure you have enabled the cut through option. Add an edge loop at the middle of the x-axis and delete the right side of the model. Add a mirror modifier. Merge the vertices. Add an edge loop with a knife tool. Add another edge loop. Merge the vertices. Add an edge loop to the bottom. Use the knife tool to add an edge like this. Merge the vertices. Delete this edge loop. If you have any triangles, convert them to quads. Merge these vertices. Add an edge using knife tool. Convert triangles to quads. Add another edge. Add an edge loop. Select this edge loop and extrude them along the x-axis. Add an edge loop like this. Apply the mirror modifier. Select and shear the left side faces along the x-axis. Select these faces and separate them. Select these faces and inset them. Delete the outer edge loops. Add subdivision surface modifier to both objects. Add edge loops to harden the inner edges. Add some edge loops to make the curvy shape nicer. Add edge loop like this.
Merge the vertices. Delete the edge loops. Convert triangles to quads. Align this vertex to the line. Snap these vertices to make the edge loop straight. Add an edge loop. Merge the vertices. Delete the edge loops. Convert triangles to quads. Set transform orientation to normal. This will allow you to move vertices along the normal axis. Add an edge loop to the right side of the object. Add an edge loop to the bottom of the model. Select the vertices and scale them along the z-axis. Align the vertices as shown. Add edge like this using knife tool. I forgot to enable the cut through option when using the knife tool. So I have to draw edges on the right side as well. Add a solidify modifier. Change the thickness value as per your preference. Turn on even thickness option. Turn on only rim option. Put the solidify modifier above the subdivision modifier. As you can see there are some issues when using the solidify modifier. To correct them, apply the solidify modifier. Align the vertices as shown. Now select the second object and add an edge loop. When adding the edge loop, make sure the outer vertices of the first and the second object lined up perfectly.
Slide this edge loop down a little bit. Add an edge loop. We can add a solidify modifier to the second object and align vertices just like we did to the first object, but it is easier to duplicate these faces and join them to the second object. Duplicate and separate this face loop. As you can see, the normals of the faces are fit for the first object, but not for the second object. So flip the normals. Join the object to the second object. Merge the vertices. As you can see there are some unmerged vertices. Merge them manually or set a higher value for the merge distance when you merge the vertices by distance. Delete unnecessary edge loops. Make sure you don't have unmerged vertices. As you can see the outer bottom edges are unevenly hardened. To correct that, go to the front view and select the bottom faces. Inset them. Tweak the vertices as per your preference. View the model using matte cap shiny material for a better view. Apply shade smooth. Thank you for watching. See you next time.